Have you ever wondered why people buy from one person over another, even though they're both selling the exact same product? Well, there is a reason for this, and I'm gonna share with you in this video what these seven qualities are. These are seven leadership qualities that your prospects are looking for, either consciously or subconsciously, and if you don't exude some of these qualities, your prospects are gonna find someone else. So, let's go ahead and let's get into it. All right, well, my name is Mark Harbert, and if this is the first time that you are on my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell because I put out videos on a regular basis and I wanna make sure that you get access to them, all right? So let's go ahead, let's not waste any time. Let's dig into quality number one. All right, leadership quality number one is confidence. Confidence is probably the number one because it's most important. You see, if you're not confident in the direction that you're going, and if you're not confident in recommending a product or a service to your prospects, how in the heck can they have confidence in the direction they're going to go? Your goal as someone that is leading somebody to a product or service, you want to have confidence in that product. And I'm not, you can, this is not something that you can fake. You can't cover it up with slimy sales tactics. Uh, you actually have to have confidence in the product or service that you're recommending. And confidence comes from use of the product. It comes from actually having some results with the product, whatever it may be. But I'll tell you this, if you don't have confidence, your prospects are running the other direction and they're going to find somebody that does have it. So you really want to build confidence in your life, in your business. And I'm telling you, you'll be a, a magnet for prospects in your business. All right. So confidence, super important. Let's go ahead and dive into number two. All right, number two, I love this one, but it's empowerment. I am telling you, one of the things that you wanna really focus on is empowering your prospects. You know, empowering them means giving them the power to make a great decision. And this happens by educating your prospects. It really happens by not looking to make your, product, your prospects dependent on you but empowering them to go out and build something amazing for themselves, no matter what their goal is. Okay. It could be build a business, could be lose weight, could be, uh, you know, to, uh, you know, focusing on a project of this, of something that's very important to them, no matter what it is, but empowering people to go out there and be self-sufficient and go out there and actually make something happen. So for me, I do that through education. And why I believe one of the best ways to do that is through educating your prospects so that when they go to make a decision, they're making an informed decision. An informed decision uh, leads to a much happier customer. I know that when I go to buy something and I've informed myself of, of what that product offers, how it can help me, and I've gotten all the information that I can, I am more than happy to pay for something because I feel it truly benefits me. So spend a lot of time empowering your prospects to make good decisions. This is so, so important, all right? So let's go ahead and dive into number three. All right, number three, probably, I'm probably gonna say this for every one of them, but they're all so important. But number three is transparency. Transparency is crucial nowadays. We live in a society that is very, very transparent. And I'm telling you, social media has really opened up those avenues where things are very transparent. So if you are a very fake individual, you know, where you're putting on a front uh, to sell something, people can tell. People can smell it a mile away. And I'm telling you, you want to be very transparent in how you handle things. You want to be very transparent when you communicate the value of your products. You know, I learned something many years ago, and it was to undersell and overdeliver. I'm telling you, if you oversell and underdeliver, you will not meet the expectations of your prospects. And that is one thing you want to do. So, Really focus on being very transparent about something. You know, if you're in a business opportunity and you're going out there and you're looking to bring people up, uh, you know, on board with that business opportunity, make sure that you're transparent. Make sure people know it takes work. It takes work. It's not going to come easy, but if you're willing to put in the effort and the time, it can help you. This is something very important. And I see this a lot in the online marketing space, people hyping things up. They're not being very transparent because what they want is they want the sale really, really bad. But the problem is that can really, really hurt you. So you need to be transparent. And I'll tell you what, you're going to have a lot happier customers. 
You're going to have a lot happier uh, teammates and just whatever it is that you're promoting. And believe me, it will help your reputation and give you a solid reputation in the long run. So transparency, super, super important. And by the way, if you ever mess up, just be honest about it. Just get it out there. Say, I messed up. I'm sorry. Apologize to customers if you get it wrong. Okay. So very, very important. Be transparent. It'll help your business. Trust me. All right. So let's go ahead and let's dive in to number four. All right. Number four is passion. I'll tell you what, when you have a passion for something, people can see it. You know, when you really love what you do and you do what you love, people can see it they can read it. They can feel it. And so passion is something that's very, very important and something you want to focus on, but you can't fake passion. You know, there are people sometimes where they're just over exuberant, <laughs> you know, and it just kind of comes off as fake. So you really want to be authentic. You know, come from the heart, be real about it, and really just, you know, show that passion from inside with what you have. If you're in a health and wellness company and you're super, super passionate about products and serv services that you offer in the health and wellness space, then absolutely be passionate about it. Just come from the heart with it really be real about it. And I'm telling you, people will appreciate it in a big, big way. So that is huge. You want to focus on passion. All right. So let's dive in to number five. All right. Number five is by far my favorite because I truly believe this is one of the things you must have if you want a long-term business. And that is integrity. Integrity is crucial. Integrity is about, I've heard this definition one time about integrity and it's always stuck with me. And integrity is doing the right thing even when no one is looking. To me, that is so crucial uh, when you're building a business is that even if you have the opportunity to get away with something, you still don't do it because you have the opportunity, opportunity to do what's right. So integrity is very important and integrity will seep into every aspect of your life because if you don't have integrity in business, you're not going to have integrity in your personal life. And you might be able to make that argument with me that you can do it, but I'm sorry. That's just not the way it is. You build a, <laughs> you can't just do one thing in one part of your life and not do it in the other. It's just, that's not the way it works. And believe me, it will seep into other areas of your life. And if you want to build a long-term business, and I believe that's why you're here. That's why you're watching this. You want to have integrity. Your prospects will love it. Your customers will love it. Your team members will love it. And I'm telling you, it will take you very far in business. So integrity is absolutely crucial to the long-term uh, long stability of your business. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's dive in to number six. All right. Number six is authenticity. Now this kind of comes into integrity and some of the other ones we've talked about. But authenticity is what it's all about. Don't try to be something that you're not. Just be yourself. Come from the heart. Let people see the real you. Let yourself shine. You are very unique in who you are. And let that come out. Be unique. Just God created you in a way to be very, very unique. And that is something that you need to let shine, okay? Be who you are. Be what God created you to be. And I'm telling you, when you're authentic in that way, it draws people to you. Very, very powerful. These are some of the things that prospects subconsciously look for. And whether they realize it or not, this is what they're looking for. They want people who are authentic and people that they can connect with. And I'm telling you, if you can really be that authentic person, you're going to attract people in droves. And uh, it people don't always have to agree with you, but as long as you're authentic, they can respect that. And I'm telling you, it will really draw a lot of people to you. So always focus on being authentic. All right. So let's get into our final one, number seven. Okay, let's dive into number seven. It's patience. Patience is so important. And I have found in my own life that having patience with customers, with uh, clients has gone a long way because patience is realizing that not everybody is at the same level uh, that you are. They may be at a higher level than you. They may be at a lower level than you. Everybody is at different levels and at different parts in their journey. So patience is something that's very, very key. And uh, patience is understanding that everybody's in a growth process. You're in a growth process. The people you work with are in a growth, pro uh, growth process. Your customers are in a growth process. So having patience and understanding that is very, very crucial to not only being able to make the best of every situation, 
but it's also being able to look and see the best in your teammates, uh, in your customers, in your prospects. And I'm telling you that patience will go a long, long way. So these are seven leadership qualities that you can really build into your business. I'm telling you, they are things that your prospects are looking for. And if you can implement them and develop these skills in your life, you will have a long-term business that will last a long, long time. All right, so there you go. What do you think? Did you enjoy those? Did you get value from those? What are some other qualities that you think are important to uh, building a long-term business? What are some other qualities that you think leaders should have? Do me a favor. If you're watching this on YouTube, put it in the comments below. If you're on my blog, comment and let me know what you think some other qualities are. I'd love to know. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.